Hello, I'm Ron Weingartz. I'm here today to talk about the Cub Cadet Enduro Series XT1 and XT2 Series lawn tractors. Cub Cadet redesigned their lawn tractor line from the ground up for uh, exceptional strength, durability, and operator comfort. I'm going to start with the XT1 Series. The XT1 is offered in a 42 inch, 46 inch, and 50 inch uh, mower deck. Um, both the XT1 and XT2 tractors are both on the same chassis, so you're not getting any less tractor by going to the XT1. What some of the differences are, like on the XT1, they start with a 42 inch with a single cylinder engine, where from this model forward, they go into a twin cylinder. The twin cylinder advantages are, uh, you get smoother operation, you get increased torque with a twin cylinder engine, um, but the single cylinder engine for a smaller lawn will will perform and do a, do a great job. It's an excellent value for, for this quality of lawn tractor. All the tractors come with a five-year frame and front axle warranty, um, and they're able to do that because they've gone to a cast iron front axle. This cast iron versus a stamped out hollowed steel axle um, is exceptionally durable. There's really, you're not gonna have any breakage with, uh, with this heavy cast iron, cast iron front axle. They also um, redesigned um, the, the ergonomics of the tractor. So some nice features, very open to get on and off the tractor. A lever to slide your seat back and forth. And as you, you'll also notice as the seat slides back, it also goes up. So the taller operator, it, it raises you up to give you uh, increased, increased leg room. All your controls within easy, easy reach. Uh, you have your, your key switch, your throttle, positioning, your brake, and your um, transmission operation pedal. The transmission operation pedal is a hydrostatic drive transmission, which is basically a fluid drive system. So it's kind of like an automatic transmission in a car. The way this is designed, the further you push forward, the faster it goes. When you release, it will return to neutral. And then for reverse, you push over here with the pedal. They've also added a nice feature of cruise control just by pushing the pedal, push down your cruise control lever, and it'll lock in that position. So if you have a lot of straight, straight areas, you don't want to hold your foot on the pedal, you can lock the cruise, release the cruise, either by tapping the pedal here, or you can just tap, tap your brake pedal. Your controls for your height of cut, is your height of cut is adjustable from one to four inches. Um, it has a spring-assisted lever, so you'll notice with one finger, you can raise your mower deck up and down, so it's very easy to change. Uh, so if you have, you know, the front lawn you want to cut at a different height, um, it's not a big procedure to change. Um, and it gives you a lot of different increments, uh, the quarter inch increments, so you can set it to the exact, exact height of cut you would like. The LX42 to engage the blades, you simply push forward and lock, lock in position there. Another nice feature with this Cub Cadet, uh, with all the uh, lawn tractors on the market now, they, they have a, a, a great safety feature where if you do mow in reverse, it kicks the blades out. So that gives you, you know, make sure that the, you know, the kids and pets and everything's, everybody's inside. But it also can be an inconvenience. So, um, so once you're, you know, are sure that everybody's, everybody's inside, they do have a reverse switch. So what this does, just by pushing the button, um, each time you mow, um, it'll, it'll be able to mow in reverse. When you shut the machine off, then you just have to restart. But during the whole time of mowing, you can mow in reverse. So it kind of makes you think about, make sure everything, you know, the, the, everything's safe to mow before you use that mow in reverse, mow in reverse switch. We're gonna move into the XT2 series. So as I mentioned, they're both on the same chassis. So uh, the, the key difference is when you go into the XT2, uh, you first off from the front, you'll notice the front bumper is standard. Just gives you added protection. If you should hit something, protects the, the, the front grill and front hood. Uh, they go to a, um, a Turf, Turf Master uh, tire. Uh, this will give you increased traction and durability. Um, they upgrade the battery for longer life and better cold weather starts. And also in your front axle, they use a bearing, which is typically found on much you know, higher priced tractors. So a bearing in their front axle will give you much longer life. You know, bushing on the X-T1 is easily replaced, but this bearing really should last for, you know, really the life of the tractor. Also, you'll notice that uh, they add armrests, which can be added to the X-T1, but this is standard. 
Um, so what's what's nice? It just gives you a little added added comfort with the XT uh, with the XT2 series. The XT2 also, uh, in comparable mounts to the XT1, they'll go to a larger uh, larger engine, so it gives you in increased uh, performance. Um, Another nice, nice feature is, uh, is uh, very easy maintenance. So they have this uh, color-coded uh, oil drain plug. So you know, first off, you have a color-coded dipstick uh, for checking your oil. So it's easy to spot, easy to find when you need to check that oil. And then also to change your oil, there's no tools required. You just push this forward and twist, pop the cap off, and the oil will drain. So there's no tools. You know, sometimes you got to mess with trying to you know screw in that that oil drain plug. So it's very easy and simple design. Also, you notice the oil filters. Uh, these uh, engines are all protected by oil filter for an added protection. But they're, again, easy to get to. You don't have to remove anything uh, right out in the open, easy, easy access uh, to get at the oil, engine oil filter. As I mentioned, these tractors are available in 42, 46, uh, 50, and 54 inch cuts. Um, as you go into the 46 inch and larger, Another feature they add is electric PTO clutch. So as shown on this model, you push the lever forward to engage the blades. This just has a switch. So you just pull, um, uh, pull to engage the mower and push to disengage. The advantage you have with that, I mean, that's, that's very easy to do. You know, this would be a little easier, but the, the key advantage is you get longer belt life. Whenever you have an idler pulley with a, um, a mechanical engagement, basically when you're pushing the lever, it's swinging an idler pulley over to tighten the belt, and you get a little bit of belt slap, and that's where you will get a little more wear to the belt. With the electric PTO system, the belt is tight all the time, so basically you're just engaging a clutch to start and, and, and stop the blades. So that's going to give you longer longer belt life for your, for your mower drive belt. As you move up the LX46 line, uh, they do offer some um, enhanced engine and deck features. That electronic fuel injected engine, or EFI for short, the electronic fuel injection uh, gives you enhanced features, uh, a little better fuel economy, um, better cold weather starts. Um, also, this model here, this is the LX46. On the EFI model, it also comes with a fabricated mower deck. If you'll notice, it's structurally versus a stamped steel deck. This is what you'll find a lot of, you know, on all your commercial equipment. So it's, it's fabricated out of steel, fabricated and welded. So it's structurally a stronger deck. Um, really, if you know, this deck is kept clean, it should last the life of the tractor. But if you have a little rougher terrain, a little tougher conditions, um, this, this deck is just an ex exceptionally durable deck and not found on a lot, of, a lot of lawn tractors. As we move up, they have a uh, cup that has what they call a, a SLX. Uh, stands for super lawn tractor. So where this would come in, this is available in 50 and 54 inch mower decks. And the first thing you notice is much larger tires. Typically the tire size found, found on like a garden tractor. The advantage you have with this is uh, if you have rough terrain, those bigger tires will give you a little smoother ride. If you're planning on uh, adding a snow blade or snow blower, uh, it gives you a better traction with the larger tires. Uh, and then also to handle the larger tires and you know a little heavier use, they upgrade the transmission for you know for longer life uh, for the for this type of application. Still gives you that tight turning radius, exceptional performance, um, very easy tractor to operate, but kind of an upgraded feature for those those bigger properties with a little tougher conditions. And this is available with both the carbureted or that electronically fuel injected engine I mentioned mentioned earlier. To round out the XT2 line, uh, they have what they call the GX series. Uh, this particular one's a GX54. The GX is a, a garden tractor. So the garden tractor, the advantage you have with the garden tractor, it's an upgrade transmission again. Um, there again, the garden tractor is designed for, for a little heavier, a little heavier use. This tractor comes with a differential lock, which you just push down with your heel. So this will lock both wheels together. Uh, very, very useful in snow conditions, give you increased traction, or if you do have some areas a little slippery on your lawn where you need to increase traction to eliminate that tire slip, that's a differential lock would come in place. So this is available on the GX series XT2 line. Yeah. Cub Cadet also offers many attachments for their XT2 1 and 2 series tractors. Uh, this is a bagger which is very popular, very easy to take on and off. Um, basically you just have uh, the chute 
uh, clipped on uh, to your mower deck here and a couple wing nuts so if you know it's, it's a lot of them in the past have been very complicated so a couple wing nuts and a clip on the chute you can take this bagger off it's a twin bag design has a nice clear uh, opening so you can see when your bags are full you can just pop this top open this flips up nice so it's out of the way and there's a couple bags that just slide inside so it's easy to to dump and and keep mowing so a lot of people will add the bagger um, it does an excellent job just blowing the grass out the side uh, but for spring cleanup after the winter you get all the the grass and leaves left over from the fall so pick up it works great for doing your first initial mowing and then also for for bagging leaves a um, couple ways to handle the bagging uh, the bagging leaves you can just go out and bag, um, but you're not going to cut them up as, as fine. So what sometimes what people will do is go through and cut them without the bagger, chop them up a little bit, put the bag on, so then you'll pack more into the bag. Uh, but it could be done, done either way. Another option is a mulch kit. Uh, the mulch kit is designed for both grass and leaves. It's just a plate that covers your discharge um, with some different blades, mulching blades. Uh, so if you want to just mulch your grass, um, or for mulching leaves, that's a, that's a very, very popular uh, option on the Cup Cadet lawn tractors. Also, I mentioned earlier, they do have uh, snow attachments, both a snow blade and a snow blower. So this can be a year-round year -round tool. Um, so, it's, you know, if you, if you have a need, if you're in one of those snow areas, you can very easily attach a snow blade or snow blower to any one of the Cup Cadet um, Enduro Series tractors. Um, this chart shows something new that Cub Cadet came out of, kind of came out with about a year ago. It's called the Fast Attach System. So the Fast Attach System, um, it basically just basically there's a lat latch and lock system, so you can easily attach, um, e easily take off and attach different attachments. So you can add your bagger to the Fast Attach System. Um, there's a, uh, a fertilizer spreader. A little cargo hauler, so if you want to haul things around your yard, topsoil, different things, bagged items, you need a little cargo hauler. Um, and then there again, it's shown with the bagger. Uh, they also just recently come out with a sprayer, so if you want to add a little sprayer. So there again, just add some added versatility to the, to the tractor. Uh, Cub Cadet also just introduced this year on a couple of select models, we'll probably see it in more models going forward, it is a tool-free blade change. So if you do have, uh, if you're switching back and forth from your standard blade to a mulch blade or in an area where you need, maybe need to replace your blades a little more often, uh, there's no bolts needed, you just push this collar forward and drop your blade off. So it's very easy to change blades back and forth. That's something new on a, uh, on a couple models, but like as I mentioned, you'll probably see that um, in more models going forward. It's a nice, nice little feature. Wine guards, wine guards, everything.